<clears throat> Hi guys, let me show you a calf, a calf, a newborn. Let me show you. Hold on here and see. Just hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just showing you a calf very quietly because I don't want people to know that I'm there <laughs> in the village at my mom's home and she just recently got a calf but the mother died. You remember? I had done a video about a mother who who, who calved and uh, you know is giving birth called a calving and after that the the mother died. The mother died. The mother could not stand up. Died. That is a now a one week old calf, but it has no milk. They are buying milk to feed it. It is so unfortunate because how unfortunate can it be that uh, a calf can be left by the mother to just die because there is no milk for it. So it's very unfortunate. But some of these things, there's nothing we can do. We just have to thank God for the gift of life. There's nothing much we can do. So guys, visiting the village on a barrio, had come for barrio. And uh, look at those goats. Look at those goats. Are they goats or sheep? I never know these things. I don't know, I don't know. I'd come here for barrio. In the village, yes, I had come here for burial. So, guys, I want to sit here and talk to you about something. So I sit, and so I sit here. Wow, gone are the days when one could just sit on the grass and be able to to reach the ground. You remember the days we could sit on the grass? Gone are the days, you know? Reaching the ground here is another thing. To me, the ground is very, very far away from me. Because even standing up from here is also another equation. So guys, how are you today? Uh, do visit your home areas when uh, neighbors have died. A neighbor I was schooling me, had died, and I came to the village to bury them, to bury her. And uh, she was being buried at the mother's place. So that's why I'm here. And uh, whenever I'm, I'm here, I usually take a video and I usually show you that I'm in the village. So guys, do you go to the village to bury, to bury your your people, your loved ones, your neighbors, your people when they die. That's what we do here in Kenya. If you hear somebody has had di has died, and this somebody maybe used to go to school with you, you have to come all the way to the village for burial. So that's what we had done, and we are we are just through with the with the burial. And uh, because she used to be our neighbor, uh, we have now come to my home area, to my mom's home, and this is where we are now. Guys, it's not just a matter of telling you that I'd come for burial. It's a matter of asking you, do you remember to at least give a contribution to these families when they lose their loved ones? You know, uh, a contribution is very, very important, guys. Because uh, you are seen like you are coming from the city. It's like you, you have the money. So they expect you to, to at least contribute something. So guys... I want to tell you something today, appear like you are. When you go to these people, don't be very, you know, not mean, the word is not mean, but please give them something. Give them something when you visit them. You know, some of them are not very lucky to go to the, to the city to go and look for money. Others didn't get a job. It is, um, 
maybe you got a job and you, you, you went all the way but uh, you see um, most people did not even go beyond the village so when you come from the city for barrio or for such functions they look at you like uh, you are their savior that day they need you to buy them cigarettes <laughs> they need them to give to give them some little money here and there so the question is do you give them something always give them something when you come to the village don't leave them empty hearted and god is gonna bless you so guys thank you for coming with me to the village please subscribe to this channel let us see each other in the city in the city bye bye